Students, welcome to Keep Learning, a digital resource created to assist you with your transition to online learning during COVID-19. This resource is available via this recording or in the form of PowerPoint slides. The slides contain active links and will serve as a valuable resource as you search for information. This resource is broken into two parts. Part one covers tips for transitioning online. Part two covers resources available to William and Mary students that promote academic success and personal well being. We want to begin by acknowledging that things have changed. Things may feel a little out of control right now. You may be facing a lot of unknowns and disruptions to your normal schedule. Try to be patient with yourself, your classmates, and your instructors during this time. It may take a moment to establish a new normal. Remember to take care of your well being first. Making a plan and adjusting your study habits may help you feel a heightened sense of control. Understand that online learning is different from in person learning. You may need different strategies for success in the online environment. We will now begin part one. You will learn about staying organized, multitasking, making the most of video lectures, and more. While more of your coursework and teamwork have to be online and remote, we want to provide some strategies for you to keep in mind. With so many things changing in your courses, you might be reliving that first week of class confusion at a finals week pace. Here are some things you might want to keep track of for each class. Are in-person components of the class changing? Think of questions like, what are the in-person parts of this course? Lecture, lab, etc. Where can you find it or how do you access it? Is it via live stream, lecture capture, or other method? Is it a specific time or can you watch it at any time? Next, are assignments changing? Questions to ask are, are there new due dates? Is how you're submitting your assignments changing? Are any quizzes or exams being offered virtually? And finally, what do I do if I need help? Is my course offering virtual office hours? If so, when and on what platform? Is there an online forum for asking questions? This is one example of a way you could keep track of these class changes online. Develop a system to keep track of your class changes. If you're doing more work on your own and on your own time, you might be tempted to multitask. Many people think they can do multiple things at once, but research shows us that only about 2% of the population can multitask. Even if you feel like you're multitasking, you're probably not. Really, you're switching between tasks very quickly. There are a few downsides of multitasking. Assignments will take longer. Each time you come back to an assignment from Instagram, for example, you have to get familiar with it find your spot, remember what you were going to do next, etc. You're more likely to make mistakes. Distractions and switching between tasks tires out your brain, and you'll remember less. When your brain is divided, you're less able to commit what you're learning to long-term memory because it doesn't get encoded properly into your brain. Here are some tips. Focus on one thing at a time. Take breaks between tasks at least once per hour. Consider the Pomodoro method to help you focus for 25 or 50 minute periods. The Pomodoro technique is a time management system that encourages people to work with the time they have rather than against it. Using this method, you break your workday into 25 minute chunks separated by five minute breaks. Let's talk about making the most of video lectures. Many of your lectures may be transitioning to online delivery. Here are a few tips to make the most of these learning experiences. Stick to your instructor's schedule as much as you can. Staying on a schedule will help you have a feeling of normalcy 
and prevent you from falling way behind. Find out how to ask questions. Is there a chat feature? A discussion forum? Do I raise my hand in Zoom? Close distracting tabs and apps. Remember, humans are not as good at multitasking as they think. Only keep tabs open that are necessary for the lecture you are participating in. Continue to take notes as you would if you were there in person. Think about how you normally take notes during in-person lectures and try to replicate that method if you are able. Watch recordings at a normal speed. Research shows that playback speed of one and a half times can lower your retention and can result in lower scores on assessments. Faster playback speeds are worse for complex, multi-step material, which most of your lectures probably are. Remember, this is only about one and a half times. There hasn't even been research on two times playback speed, which is probably even worse. As the situation unfolds, you may have fewer social commitments, group meetings, or work hours. Setting a schedule for yourself can help provide structure and keep you motivated. If you don't already keep a weekly or daily calendar, try something like the example provided via the link. Include time for exercise and self-care. If you already use a planner to keep track of your schedule, now more than ever is the time to continue that practice. Here is an example of a daily schedule. You can use the link on the previous slide to create a schedule like this of your own. Your routines may have to adjust during this time. Look for ways to adapt your usual habits or form new ones. For example, if you usually study in a coffee shop or library, ask yourself what kind of environment helps you study. See if you can recreate that at home. Maybe it's studying in a chair rather than on your bed or couch, or moving to a new spot when you change tasks. If you feel you need background noise, consider a white noise app. If sharing a space with others, communicate with them about your schedule and needs so everyone is on the same page. If you always study in groups, try a virtual or even phone-based study session with your group. This is a great way to stay focused and connect when away from campus. If you thrive on tight timelines but now have a more open schedule, Think about how working with others or setting up a schedule can recreate that for you. When that gets hard, see if you can do 15 minutes of focused work at a time. Remote collaboration will also look a little different, but it is definitely possible. Try not to procrastinate. That group project may be out of sight, out of mind if you aren't seeing each other regularly. Resist the urge to put it off. Make small progress and stay in touch. Meet regularly, especially if you usually touch base during class or lab. Consider a quick text on your group chat about progress every couple of days. Ideally, have real conversations over video any week you're working together. Set a purpose for meetings and use a shared notes document. Meetings might feel different when using video, even if your team was really good at working informally in the past. Try to set the purpose of your meeting in advance. Take notes in a shared doc so you can all contribute and follow along. Keep videos open when you can. As long as you can see whatever you need to collaborate on, aim to keep the video visible on your computer screen. It will help you see the expressions of your teammates and stay connected to one another. Check on each other and ask for backup. If someone has been absent from your group meetings or chat, ask them directly if they're still able to participate in the project. If you aren't getting responses within a day or two, let your instructor know. Even if we limit how much face-to-face -face time we spend with others, Connecting with family and friends might be more important than ever, and staying in touch with instructors, classmates, and groupmates is still important for continued classwork. Here are a few ideas. Schedule video calls with friends and family. 
Talking with loved ones is often really helpful when you're stressed or nervous about something. Taking a break to have a laugh is also important. Use Zoom to connect with classmates to talk through a tough problem. Attend virtual office hours or study groups so that you can stay up on your coursework. Speaking of study groups, Zoom is a wonderful way to create virtual study groups. It offers a variety of resources such as screen sharing capabilities and a whiteboard to recreate a classroom setting online. We will discuss Zoom further in a few slides. Schedule time on Zoom to meet with two or three classmates that you would normally interact with in person. Use this time to quiz each other on current and prior material. Prepare five questions and answers for each meeting and consider the topics below. Identify what others think is important. Identify concepts you may have missed. Practice teaching the material with one another. Identify gaps in knowledge and help keep the material fresh for others in your group. If you would like to learn more about best practices for learning online, please use these resources. And thank you to the University of Michigan for giving universities nationwide the freedom to borrow from their materials. We will now begin part two of the session. Part two will cover what academic and wellness supports are available to you and how you may access them now that we have moved online. In this portion, we will cover Zoom video conferencing, academic enrichment programs, writing centers, academic advising, student accessibility services, and other wellness resources. William and Mary will be transitioning to utilizing Zoom for various activities throughout the remainder of the semester. Every student now has access to Zoom Pro. A Zoom test site is available via the link on this slide. The site allows you to try out cameras, mics, and speakers in Zoom. Please be sure to test out Zoom before your first class the week of Monday, March 23rd. You can find out how to download and utilize Zoom through the William and Mary Zoom setup page linked here in the PowerPoint. Zoom provides many resources, from the ability to share screens, set up a whiteboard, and chat with other individuals. Practicing using Zoom provides you an opportunity to connect with classmates and learn from one another when utilizing this technology. Internet access is key to utilizing Zoom and other digital resources. It is important to find a place that has a stable connection as we navigate the semester in a digital format. We recognize that not all students have a stable connection in their current space. Many public spaces such as libraries and community centers offer free Wi-Fi access, and many internet providers are widening the availability in these places. When accessing public Wi-Fi, be cautious, as not all connections are secure. Although college campuses across the United States are closing for the time being, their Wi-Fi connections will continue. As part of the EduRoam network, all William & Mary students are able to access internet with their William & Mary credentials at any other campus who utilizes EduRoam. You can visit the link on this slide to see campuses that offer EduRoam. Smartphones have the capability of launching a small hotspot that can connect a laptop, desktop, or other device to the internet. Many cell phone service providers are offering additional data and access to use your phone as a mobile hotspot for up to 60 days. Even if you have access to a steady connection, please check with your provider to see if you are eligible for this benefit, just in case. If you have a modem and internet access at your current location, but it is slow and unreliable, try utilizing an ethernet cord to directly connect your computer to the router. This should increase your speed. Many campus resources are switching to digital mediums to provide students with academic and holistic support. The Tribe Tutor Zone is going remote and will be fully operational beginning Monday, March 23rd. Open seven days a week, you can schedule a meeting with a tutor by visiting wm.edu forward slash tutors.
and creating an account. All tutors have taken the courses they assist with and are trained in various tutoring techniques. Your tutor will send a Zoom invitation to your William & Mary email for the scheduled session. Please be sure to schedule sessions at least 48 hours in advance. You can also set up reoccurring appointments by talking to your tutor about regular meeting times. Individual time management and strategic learning workshops are available through the Tribe Tutor Zone as well. Our peer consultants are trained on various study tips and organization strategies and can walk you through various time management resources. These free consultations can be scheduled through the Tribe Tutor Zone the same way that you scheduled a tutoring appointment. The College of Arts and Sciences Writing Resource Centers remain available to work with you on writing and communication assignments starting Monday, March 23rd. These centers include the Writing Resource Center, Graduate Writing Resource Center, and History Writing Resource Center. All centers will offer 50-minute online appointments with a trained consultant through their scheduling site. To book an appointment, please visit wm.mywc online.net. Additional writing tips and resources are available on the Writing Resource Center's Resources for Writing webpage. Managing your courses this semester will look quite different than an average semester. Academic Enrichment Program staff are available to discuss how these changes may impact your success and provide strategies for overcoming any obstacles related to these changes. Any student currently enrolled in the Aspire program or is otherwise interested in how this semester will impact their academic progress can also reach out with any questions. Appointments with any member of the Academic Enrichment Team can be scheduled online using the link on this slide or by calling the Dean of Students Office at 757-221-2512. As the spring 2020 academic advising period gets underway, you should receive a message from your pre-major advisor to schedule a virtual appointment to discuss upcoming semesters and to check in. If you have any questions for your major advisor, be sure to reach out and request a virtual meeting to check in before registering for classes. Staff from the Office of Academic Advising are also available to field questions or discuss academic progress. Appointments with professional advising staff can be scheduled online or by emailing advising at wm.edu. We recognize how challenging this time is for students and encourage them to contact Student Accessibility Services for support if needed. SAS staff are available for virtual or phone meetings to discuss exams, note-taking, adapting to online learning, and more. Their phone number is 757-221-2512. You can visit the Student Accessibility website for frequently asked questions related to COVID-19. While academics are important, you should also be sure to take care of yourself during this time. Health and Wellness has created resources for students to engage with from their living spaces, including meditations, online fitwell classes, and activities. While campus is closed, the Student Health Center remains open for students. Appointments can be scheduled Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. by calling their number 757-221-4386. The Counseling Center is also open to support students through referrals and check-ins. Connect with a counselor today by calling their number 757-221 3620. Staff will be able to assist however they are needed 24 hours a day. The Student Success Thematic Area is comprised of several offices working together to ensure students feel successful during their time at William & Mary. This slide contains links to each area's individual website, which outlines how to access their services virtually. These offices include the Dean of Students Office, whose purpose is to promote student success. This is a great starting place if you have questions or concerns. 
Any inquiries sent to the Dean of Students Office will be routed to the appropriate resource. Next is care support services. The purpose is to provide outreach, advocacy, and support services to students managing interpersonal, academic, and wellness concerns. Enrollment Support Services provides advice on academic and administrative policies, procedures, and grievances, and they assist with problem solving within William & Mary's system. Community Values and Restorative Practices strives to uphold our community's values. Students can submit reports of concern regarding conduct or honor issues or contact the office for advice. The Haven provides confidential advocacy services and academic modifications to students who experience sexual misconduct and or relationship abuse and stalking. The Center for Student Diversity provides academic, social, and transition support for underserved and underrepresented students and promotes exchange and dialogue between individuals of diverse backgrounds and identities. Virtual events are already taking place through the center. Visit their Facebook page to learn more. All staff in all offices are prepared to work with students digitally via email and Zoom. Please check the links here to learn more about how you can connect with staff in these areas. Thank you for taking the time to engage with this resource. We hope you found it helpful. We understand this transition may cause some anxiety. Please know that we were all in this together, and though we may be apart, William & Mary is committed to your success. Should you have additional questions or concerns, please reach out to the Dean of Students Office. Thank you and be well.